Oh, what a day! What a lovely day! Hello everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude here and I'm here to review Mad Max Fury Road. So Mad Max Fury Road is written and directed by George Miller, the same dude that brought you the Mad Max trilogy starring Mel Gibson. This reboot kind of sequel to Road Warrior stars Tom Hardy, Charlize Theron, and Nicholas Holt. So. Mad Max Fury Road basically takes place in this post-apocalyptic future. Furiosa takes these girls to her homeland. She teams up with Max. Chaos ensues. That's really all I have to say for the plot. There really isn't much you need to know about Mad Max, in all honesty. But going into Mad Max Fury Road, I actually was not that excited for the movie. Like, I think the trailers, the trailers, they looked awesome. It was just the movie itself that just didn't quite interest me. It just looked okay. But with all that being said, I really was hoping Mad Max Fury Road could impress me. Because I did think the Mel Gibson original Mad Max film, you know, it wasn't too bad. I still have to see Road Warrior and Beyond Thunderdome. I will eventually get to those. But I did get to watch the original Mad Max for the first time before I left to my screening to go see this movie. I know Mad Max Fury Road is getting praise. It's exploding all over over the internet it's being praised as a masterpiece so like I said I was really hoping this movie could surprise me especially with all the high praise getting but it pains for me to say this I hated Mad Max Fury Road I really wanted this movie to surprise me trust me I really at least wanted to like this movie I know I'm in a minority in this that's cool but it is one of the worst movies I've seen in 2015, and it really does pain me to say that. But before I get to my negatives, let me start off with my positives. Now, Tom Hardy, he's great as Mad Max. He does a really good job. He's the man that doesn't say much. He really doesn't need to say much. But I really did like his character. Nicholas Holt as this character, Nux. I believe he was really good here he actually surprised me because when I saw him in the trailers I was like I'm not sure what to really think but Nicholas Holt stellar job Charlize Theron this is more of her movie I think the movie is misleading because it's called Mad Max Fury Road but really this is Charlize Theron's movie Mad Max is more of the side character but Charlize Theron for what she's given to the character I thought she did a really good job and there's a couple of times where her character does show emotion even if I may not have bought it into it what she brought to the core of her character it was very well done of course I do gotta say it the action scenes they do look awesome I heard it's Pretty much all practical effects, just with very, very minimal CGI, which I gotta truly respect George Miller and to the entire cast for being so committed and to bringing over-the-top crazy action. I do like the guitar dude in this movie. I think that was really cool for the movie to do that. The movie has beautiful cinematography, but that is not enough for me to really enjoy Mad Max Fury Road. Now, one of my problems with this movie is that it's so focused on action, 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 rather than trying to tell a story. I don't mind movies having a simple storyline as long as you give me some reason to care about the situations, to care about the characters. I could see that this has a simple plot. The thing about this movie is that it's so jumbled. It really doesn't make any sense. And as I'm watching this movie, I'm having a hard time trying to understand what the fuck is actually going on. Where is the plot going? It just didn't make sense how the movie was executing it. When I read the plot on IMDb, I was all like, wow. How come it makes sense when I'm reading it on IMDb, but in this movie, 
It makes no fucking sense. And the movie is just so repetitive because it is a two hour mindless action extravaganza. This movie really does not find its time to develop its characters. There's a couple of times where it tries to develop Charlize Theron. There's a couple of times with Mad Max. There's like a scene with Nicholas Holt's character, Nux, but it's so limited. It honestly baffles me how limited the character development is because this movie is style over substance. That's really how I see Mad Max Fury Road. And even though, yes, the action is awesome, it's really hard to get more invested in the action. It loses its steam as the movie keeps going. Yes, I cared about Mad Max, I cared about Furiosa, I cared about Nux, but the rest of the characters, I could not give a shit. I did not give a shit about that villain who I'm gonna call Old Man Bane because he literally looks like Bane, but so fucking old. So yeah, I don't give a shit about old man Bane. I didn't give a shit about any of the side characters. And oh my god, the girls, the five girls that are traveling with Furiosa and Mad Max, there was no purpose to them. They're so weak. They all so flat. There's no personalities to them. They just sit there going, oh, yeah. And they look like a bunch of fucking models. They serve no fucking purpose. They're just there to ride along with Charlize Theron. And that's it. That's fucking it. Oh, man. I really do like the action, you know, but the action is both a positive and a negative. My negative with the action is that even though it is very well filmed, it has some of these very weird pacing shots. Like some of the camera shots just move so rapidly. It just moves so quick and a few times it's hard to even follow what the fuck is going on. The rapid shots just really distracted me and took me out of the movie a lot. And the movie's editing is so poorly done. There's a lot of shots where, for some reason, a shot fades into black and it fades to another shot for no reason and it just feels so out of place. The editing, the story, the execution, even the direction by George Miller, it all felt so disjointed. The writing is just god awful. Not really serving its time for its characters. There's no purpose to the overall plot because in my opinion, it just doesn't make any sense. And it's a simple plot. The characters are in peril, but there's like no reason for me to fear for the characters. The movie doesn't try to build any tension to these characters. It's just very hard to get invested with the movie when it gives me pretty much no reason to care about the characters. And even when it does try to develop its characters, it's not enough because they only go like one or two minutes of trying to develop the characters, mainly with Furiosa, and they just go back into the action. Overall, you guys, I know I'm in the minority here, and like I said, that's cool. I'm happy for the reviews it's gained. I'm happy for the people that loved it. But I am sorry. I couldn't stand watching this movie. I was just begging for it to be over. And by the time it ended, I was like, thank God. It's repetitive. It's choppy. There's little development for the characters. The side characters, the acting on the side characters, they all suck. Tom Hardy, Charlie Theron, Nicholas Holt are the only good actors. The characters are the only ones I gave a shit about. For the most part, I really think the action is awesome, but it's not enough for a movie that has such a jumbled script. Mad Max Fury Road is one of the worst movies of 2015 and I'm going to give Mad Max Fury Road one out of four stars. Let me know in the comments down below what did you think of Mad Max Fury Road. This is 22 Tiger Dude here and don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power.